the northern region of Canada at the close of the 19th century rode Dudley Do-Right of the Mounties, lonely defender of justice and fair play, handsome, brave, daring, and hopelessly lost. These service station maps are impossible. Can't even fold up the thing. I think I should have turned left at that last tree. Meanwhile, a short distance away, Snidely Whiplash was up to his favorite pastime, tying women to railroad tracks. He soon had unexpected company. A Mountie! Correct. Pardon me, sir, but do you happen to know the way to the Royal Canadian Mountie Camp? Why, yes, I do. Oh, this pesky knot. Could you give me a hand, or rather, finger? <laughs> Always willing to help a citizen in need. There. <laughs> Dudley do ride to the Mounties. Get out of that if you can. Oh, fudge. Meanwhile, Nell Fenwick, the beautiful daughter of Inspector Fenwick, was out gathering chestnuts. Suddenly, she stumbled onto the biggest nut of all, Dudley do right. What Dudley do right are you doing with that other woman? I thought you always did right. I was doing right, Nell. That's how I got in this predicament. But could I tell you about it later? I think there is a train approaching. And so do you, right? There's a fiend running loose in northern Canada. A fiend, Inspector? A fiend who goes about Canada tying defenseless women to railroad tracks. Oh. I know it must be hard for you to believe, you with your eyes of blue and heart so true. Uh, what happened to your finger, do right? Never mind about my finger, sir. This is far more important than mere flesh wounds. A rope-tying fiend is at large and should be brought in at once. And so the remorseless man tracker started on his way. He didn't have far to track. Here, here! You oughtn't to do a thing like that, going around tying defenseless people to railroad tracks. It's not the Canadian way. You think I'm not trying to stop to stop tying? I'm hooked! It's a habit with me now! <laughs> I swear to you, after I tie up this one defenseless woman, I'm going to swear off, so help me! Could you just put your finger in this knot? Well, if you think it will help you kick the habit... Oh, it will! It will! There. <laughs> yeah. Curses foiled again. Hey, that's my line. Uh oh, another woman. He didn't swear off. A man. Confound that whiplash. No. Inspector Fenwick. Snidely Whiplash! Snidely Whiplash? Now I wonder... But Inspector Fenwick did not get his nickname of the Canadian Fox for nothing. Now all of you have heard the old proverb, if you give a Snidely enough rope, he'll put his foot in it. Why no, Inspector, I don't believe I've heard that proverb. Don't interrupt, do right. We're going to use this. We're going to disguise you as Nell. Me, sir? With those baby blue eyes, you are unnatural. True. What the inspector didn't know was that Snidely, realizing that the heat was on, disguised himself as Nell. Dudley, where are you? Nell, you heard your father's plan. Go on back to camp. You'll give the whole thing away. Nell. Nell, what are you doing? Nell, this is no time for hijinks. <laughs> Snidely Whiplash, caught it last. Oops. So, Snidely Whiplash, you thought you'd catch the Mounties counter counter intelligence napping napping, eh? But, Father, I'm not Snidely Whiplash. And don't think you're fooling me with that crummy falsetto voice. You must think we're pretty stupid at headquarters. <laughs> hey, buddy, don't leave stuff laying around in the tracks, huh? Trying to confuse me, eh, Whiplash? Well, it won't work. As if I wouldn't know my own daughter and my favorite constable. Inspector Fenwick always gets his man. Well, Nell, I guess all's well that ends well. Why, Solomon's exactly, darling.